Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been so excited to release this first video in my spring capsule series. Spring and autumn are definitely my two favorite seasons when it comes to dressing because you can play around with layers, you can wear um, a lot of layers some days and a little less layers other days and you just get to be a lot more creative with your style which I am all about. If you hear some snoring in the background, Oscar's laying on the couch right here and I, I can't get him to stop and he's looking too cute for me to move him. So we'll just let him lie there and snore just to get that out of the way. So as always, I will be going through a quick look back at the past season. So in this case, it's winter. And then I will be going through my, what my inspiration for the coming season is, what kind of colors I'm going for, if I have something on my wish list. And I'll also be sharing a sneak peek on my visual wardrobe overviews so far. So they're not done at all, but I'm sharing the whole creative process. And yeah, without any further ado, let's dig into it. Let's have a quick look back at winter before we proceed to the next season. So for me personally, this winter has been a bit crazy, I have to admit. When I look back at these past few months, everything's kind of blurry and yeah, it's just been crazy. So I've had lots of personal stuff going on. I've turned self-employed, I've launched a jewelry line, I have launched a secondhand web shop as well. So I've been working on a lot of projects that have been released and has just changed the game completely for me. But even though it's been a really stressful winter for me, it's also been a great winter for me personally. I've really moved some places and I feel very thankful. I feel more lucky than ever to be able to do what I'm doing. So that's the important thing. Winter is definitely not my favorite season to dress for. As much as I love cozy jumpers, cozy socks and lots of hygge that, you know, just comes along with winter, I always feel so sick of layering up in so many layers by the end of the season. And it's totally the case again this time around. When I have like a full look back on my winter capsule, I've been really pleased with it. There's no items that I feel like were a mistake to add to my capsule or there's no items that I haven't reached for at all, so that's good. As some of you know, I have a capsule wardrobe notebook where I kind of write my end of season thoughts so that I have some some things I can move on with for the next couple of seasons and just basically write all the lessons that I learned along the way. And my end of season thoughts for last winter were actually that I had a little too many jumpers in my capsule, so I ended up not reaching for all of the jumpers that I added to my wardrobe. And so this time around, I tried to kind of hold back on that. And I really feel like I have been wearing all of the jumpers that I added to my winter capsule, so that's really good. But then, on the other hand, I probably went a bit overboard with jackets and coats. So I had a little too many options this time around and as a result, there were some jackets that I ended up not reaching for nearly as much as I'd hoped for. And one of them being my vintage lumberjack style jacket that I bought in Beyond Retro in London. I absolutely love that jacket, don't get me wrong. But because I had so many other options, I also had my navy blue wool coat, I have my camel coat and I have my leopard coat as well and yeah, it was just too many options. So that's what happens, you always reach for the same things over and over again and that's definitely something I'm gonna note down for um, a lesson learned for next year. So wrapping up winter completely, let's move on to spring. God, it feels so nice to finally be looking at spring. The weather is actually amazing outside today. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, and it's really mild and yeah, I can totally feel spring coming. As always, I have been pinning a lot of images to my Pinterest, so if you have, want to have a closer look on all of the things that inspires me at the moment, definitely go have a look at my Pinterest board. So when it comes to colors, I'm loving all the neutrals. That's one of the biggest trends for for this season. I know that it's definitely very classic, which is probably why I like it as well. It's a very timeless kind of trend and it's something that we see returning every single spring. So we've gone through the dark months of winter. Now we want something light and neutral. So you might have seen me going through this trend in my latest trend 
video where I kind of go through all of the spring trends and how you can follow them in a more sustainable way. Um, and yeah, all things neutral is definitely something that I am going for this spring. I just feel like neutrals are amazing paired together with whites or creams or even light blue denim. It's amazing and I can't get enough. So the overall outlook of my spring capsule is probably gonna be classic and timeless as usual because all of my basics are very classic and timeless. Um, and then I'm gonna be having this feminine touch as well. I'm also gonna be throwing in a, a bit of an edge because that's just who I am, that's what I love. So nothing really changed here. So it's it's more the, the colors that I've, I've kind of um, tried to mix up a bit this time around. So if you look at my Pinterest, I am still obsessed with leopard print as well. I'm still obsessed with fabrics like lightweight cotton, like this shirt that I'm wearing here, or linen. So these really spring, summer appropriate kind of fabrics. I'm still loving those. I'm also still loving raw hems on my jeans. I'm loving like casual fitted jeans as well. So again, overall, I think I will probably be going back to basics a bit again. And it's something that I tend to do whenever I've gone through a season where I've had a bit of color added to my wardrobe. I know that my wardrobe is not colorful at all. Don't get me wrong. I only have that one red color in my winter capsule. But every time I've gone through a season where I've had a bit of color like that, um, I tend to go back to basics for the next season. And I think this time around, I'm definitely going to be keeping things quite minimal, quite, quite neutral. So yeah, I'm not ashamed to say that I like a rather colorless wardrobe. And I'm sure many of you already know this. So let's have a look at my wish list and the things that I'm contemplating adding to my wardrobe from storage. So I've actually already bought a few things for my spring capsule and I'm not going to show them to you just yet. I'm going to keep you hanging and I'm going to show them to you in my um, final video. So there will be a second video in this spring capsule series and that's kind of where I always share um, a lookbook and I share all of the single items that I've added to my capsule. So definitely stay tuned for that video if you're dying to see what items I've added exactly. I managed to pick up the few things that I wanted to add to my wardrobe this time around all secondhand. So that's always nice. It's a very sustainable way to be able to follow some trends and be able to add some, some great staples to your wardrobe that, yeah, you can love just as much if you bought them from new. So really excited to share those finds with you guys. Let's just say that again, I'm going all in on that neutrals trend. So expect some neutral colored items to be presented in my final video. So I've definitely been wanting to add a pair of neutral colored boots to my wardrobe for some time or co beige colored pair. And I've been wanting to do that ever since autumn, but I decided to wait because first of all, autumn and winter is so not practical for a pair of beige boots, let's just face it. And also I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give myself some time to really think about this, if it's something that I really see myself using if I add it to my wardrobe. And I just haven't been able to let go of that thought of a pair of beige boots. So yeah, that's definitely something that I have on my wish list for spring. And then another thing that I've been wanting to add to my wardrobe is a neutral colored blazer. So either one in like a beige or cream color or maybe in a brown color because I really love all shades of brown as well. And I think they're perfect for spring, even though that they can be kind of autumnal. I think that with the right styling, they can be really suitable for spring as well. Then I've also been wanting to add a new beige biker jacket to my wardrobe actually. And many of you know that I bought a secondhand biker jacket in a vintage store in London last year. I've just had to realize that it's just a tad too small for me. So I'm actually not very comfortable whenever I wear it. I can only wear it with something really light, like a t-shirt or something underneath. Otherwise it's just too tight. And that's just a shame because I really like to wear jumpers underneath my biker jacket sometimes as well, especially during that transitional period from winter to spring where it's not completely warm to just wear a t-shirt and a jacket yet. So I'm actually, I've actually decided to let that jacket go. I'm gonna be selling it on my secondhand shop. So if you're interested and if you live within Europe, you might 
want to move quickly. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to add another beige biker jacket to my spring wardrobe and then this time around add one that fits perfectly. So that's another thing and definitely a lesson learned as well. Sometimes you have to compromise just a bit when you shop secondhand. You have to have a bit of a more open mind. Um, and of course, you can make mistakes sometimes. And yeah, I probably made the mistake of buying that jacket a little bit too small. So I make mistakes too sometimes. So that's kind of the new items that I'm contemplating adding to my spring capsule. And then regarding what I've stored away, I will definitely be taking my black linen shirt back out because I just love that shirt. And I'll also be bringing back out my leopard flats that I've been bringing back out for the past two or three summers now. I love those flats and yeah, I bring them out every single spring. Then another thing that I'm really excited about bringing back out from storage are my brown loafers from Everlane. You might remember that I bought them for my autumn capsule and then over the winter I packed them away. Um, and I've just been so excited to be reunited with these shoes because I absolutely love them and they fit perfectly within this whole neutral colored theme that I've got going on. So as always, I am currently also playing around with the Cladwell app, so I'm updating my spring wardrobe overview from last year and you know updating it with the things that I'm thinking about adding to my capsule wardrobe this time around. The reason why I really like to do this in the Cladwell app is because then I can see all of the outfits that you know that I can put together with these items that I add to my wardrobe and just get a better overview of the different things you know get a better sense of whether I'll be wearing them a lot or not. Um, so that's something I enjoy doing every season. Um, and then of course, I'm also updating my visual overviews that I make in Photoshop. So the ones that I share on my Pinterest and on my blog. And I'm also gonna be updating my basics overview. I do that from time to time because I have been making a few tweaks here and there, not a lot, but just a few tweaks. And some of you have already noticed it and actually asked me if I wanted to do an updated overview of my basic wardrobe. So I'm gonna be releasing that as well. There's some items that I've switched around. Some of them I've moved to storage and take, taken a few others out. So there's just a minor change to that, but overall it basically still looks the same. So I will be sharing the full overviews in my final spring capsule video, which will be up, I think in like two weeks or something. So just so you know when to expect it. So that's it for this video, guys. I really hope it gave you lots of inspiration to get started with your own spring wardrobe. I'm so excited for spring and summer this year because we're not only moving, I'm also gonna be releasing some extension pieces for my jewelry collection and there's just, Lots of amazing and exciting things going on that I can't wait to share with you all. If you feel like giving your wardrobe a great spring clean, which is something that I often enjoy doing myself just to get everything ready for the new season, I have made both a video and a blog post with some very practical tips on how to get your wardrobe ready for a new season. So if you want to read that or watch that video, I will link that down below. Anyway, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy it. And also make sure you swing by my Instagram account for daily outfit updates so you can get a better image of how I style my capsules. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you all soon. Bye guys.